okay y'all so this is part two so like i said you're dealing with someone either you're closed off or they're closed off it's a lot of you this person is closed off towards you like i said it's all mind games it's all mind games like you're so sad about the situation and like i said could be a pathological liar with the seven of swords reverse back there and you could just be getting reminded to know your damn word that could be your trigger spirit clarify the renew energy spark energy look at that justice card libra energy um Spirit's trying to bring things back into balance into your life. They're trying to make it right. They're trying to make like you lost a lot of you lost. Oh, you lost a lot of years. So some of you can been dealing with this person for a long time. Ace of Wands reverse. There's a new beginning trying to come through for a lot of you. Ten of Swords. Let this painful shit the fuck go. Let it go. King of Pentacles, and then you can get back into like it's the set of the Queen of Pentacles. You can get back into that King of Pentacles, like secure, stable. You know, knowing you can handle business, right? Like there's like I feel like with the Page of Pentacles reverse, a lot of you just feel very unfortunate. You feel like you don't have anything good coming in, like no good offers. Then the Wheel of Fortune's reverse behind it. You feel like you have no good offers. You gotta walk. You gotta leave this behind. Spirit, clarify this contract's career and commitments. A lot of you could be having your Saturn return. Page of Cups reverse. Page of Cussy Verse, the Druid, that's the Hierophant energy. That's um, coming into your power, stepping into your power. Queen of fucking swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, man, oh man, man, oh man. Some of you are just constantly, like, I feel like you're being reminded to truly not settle for less. Like, the Queen of Swords, she makes great choices. She's assertive, you know what I'm saying? She goes for what she knows is hers. And I feel like with the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck, there's a lot of confusion and illusions here. We had that at the bottom of this deck too, illusions. Like this person, whoever you're dealing with, is clearly lying to you. Like they're keeping hella secrets from you. They're painting an image of you and that's why it's triggering you. But it's supposed to trigger you so you can get the healing you need from this. Not stay. Not stay, baby, baby, not stay. Bottom of the deck is childish, see? Somebody needs to grow up. Mm, sneezing what does that mean what does one sneeze mean this message is accurate as hell is what it means google it yourself irresponsible see somebody is being very irresponsible with love with this connection they're or, or they're just irresponsible when it comes to love period not just you Dis disillusioned right like there's so many so much fake shit y'all guard it can't make this up y'all invading somebody's definitely keeping an eye on you spirit what is the shadow energy behind renewal Somebody's definitely, like, I feel like keeping an eye on you, but like like I said, they're very guarded, or you're guarded from this, unavailable. Someone is, they're not for you. They're not for you, and Spirit's trying to show you, and they cause you nothing but pain, nothing but pain. You're hurting. We're going to take this over to part three, non-action, and that's why it hurts, because this person takes no action towards you, none whatsoever. All right, y'all, let's go to part three and get some more shadow and some tarot. I mean, zodiacs. All right, see you there. <laughs> 